My name is Noir Cato for those who know me on social media and for the others you know me as Carol. Uh, I'm going to be talking about black business today. Um, tell you about my business and um, what I'm hoping for in the future. Um, as I said my name is Noir Cato. Um, in 2011 I started uh, looking for a black business in um, on Facebook. And, and the reason why I started that is because I went out shopping that day and found that I, I bought all this grocery back and nothing came from a Caribbean shop. So I was really angry and I thought, you know, this is wrong. I never even thought about it. I just went to the same shop and bought the same things. And so when I went back out, I um, went to, back to the Halston where I, I live and, um, and I walked hold of the streets of Halston and I went through every shop on that street to find a black business and everyone that I did find I told them that I was going to create a group and that I was going to put them on it and um, it was amazing how many people I did find in Harlesden and because you're so used to the hairdressers and the barber shops and the food shops you didn't actually think about um, there was other shops as well so I, I found quite a lot of other shops and I put them on my Facebook and that grew within a week um, you know I had so many followers for that and um, by 2014, it really was massive. And um, everyone kept on saying, what are we gonna do with the group? What are we gonna do with the group? And that's when I first started my um, Buy Black weekend and did a um, event in the Hilton Hotel um, called um, Noah International uh, Black Businesses, Black British Businesses. Um, so that's me if anyone has been a vendor or come to the event. And then after that, I did one in the Royal Bank of Scotland. And after that, I've done um, business events. I've, the last one I've just done was a property event and I'm hoping to have another one this year. Now, besides that, most of you may know me from, or if you don't know, I'm the person, the face behind Shops Noir. So looking for a black business name has now changed to um, Shops Noir. And that's me because I created a platform. I decided I wanted to have a platform for black people so that we can circulate the power among ourselves. And so I created a um, black business um, multi, a multi vendor website so that um, users, um, vendors can come and put their products on my website and sell to the rest of the world. And it's been going really well. But we need your support, you know, um, we need your support for people who don't know about it. So I'd like you to post this video and tell people about Shops Noir. It's got anything from um, clothing to cards to jewellery um, for children's christening gowns, the, the whole lot. We have lots of things on there. And um, I've just um, got taken three girls on who is... Um, now working behind the scenes and looking after accounts and their names are Stacy, um, Jennifer and Yvonne um, and Adele. And so if if you ever become a vendor, these are the people that will be um, looking out for you. Um, I really would love for you guys to help us to circulate the power. That's what it's all about. From since I started um, in 2011, it was about circulating the black pound. We talk about it, but we don't really practice it as much as we say we will. Now, as I said, this this um, platform that I create, Shops Noir, is similar to um, SD, similar to Amazon. OK, so you can have your own link. So you'll have your own shop. You can upload all your products to Shop Noir and send it send that link to your friends so they'll see your shop it's like you having a website and um and the thing is we will do it for a smaller a small fee and we advertise to all the social media uh, platforms so even if you have um something on amazon already and something on st already you can still um come to us okay and if you um come via this video um it's free uh, for the year and we just charge um, 3% um, of whatever you sell, which is not a lot when you think about it, 3%, okay? You think about what SD, Amazon and everybody else is charging. The other thing is I'm trying to get a lot of people off um, Facebook in the group because Facebook, Amazon, those people are literally trying to take business off us, okay? And the thing is with us, we always get caught in that trap. Oh, it's much cheaper than you. 
okay if i had as much followers as as amazon then i would be able to compete but i need you you out there my black fellow members and anyone else who wants to buy from us please come on board and help us to circulate the pound every other community the asian community the jewish community as you heard this story all before they all support each other but we're the only community that complains that we're too expensive we need to this and we need to that but we can't do that unless we have support among our people so i'm crying out saying please come and help us we've got wonderful vendors faithful vendors and i'm talking about faithful vendors who's been there at the very start okay and i'm doing my best to promote them and um, i'm also going to be showing sharing during this week um, some videos from other friends who i'm um, supporting shops noir now all the information is at the bottom of the screen or on the side of the screen there's information they're going to be information in the description box the lot so if you need help we will actually upload your products for you if you've got a CSV file. So it's so simple, okay? So simple. If you want to speak to one of us, um, just as I said, information below. Just call us, talk to us. We can customise whatever you you want. So um, we're here. Don't forget us, Shops Noir. Thank you very much. V Noir International Black Business Expo 2015. This is Livingston Gilchrist, your host and facilitator for the day. Why Noir Black Business Expo? Why? Because this is our time. It's our time to do it for self. Carol Cato has put together an organization, an opportunity, a facility to give a platform for black business owners to express, for black people to come, engage effectively and invest, not purchase, invest and circulate the black pound. And I'm representing Dwaynamics Community Interest Com Company Limited. The relevance of my speech was about young people and businesses. The number of young people that I engage with and that work within my company have expressed their desire to work in more black businesses. We as business owners and this is what the young people are saying to me, for me to echo you today. The young people are assets. Use us, they are saying. Use us, open your doors to us. Train us so that we can learn the skills that you need because we have more energy, we have more drive, and we will prosper your business. Hello, my name is Eddie Nesta. Uh, I have a show on BBC Radio London. It's a drive time show. It's on from 5 to 7, Monday to Friday. But I've been on the Real McCoy. I've done all sorts of things. I play music. I compare. I just, I sell myself, really, for people's entertainment. It's fantastic coming to this expo today because Noir, it just gives, I mean, the name is fantastic in itself, but it does give people an opportunity to come forward, meet like-minded people, and to get themselves going. Sometimes it's about just renewing what you already believe. Sometimes it's about finding people who might be able to help you, or actually, sometimes you feel better when you help someone else. So it's been brilliant to see all the stuff that have done. Uh, I've just given a little chat. Hopefully people have enjoyed it and understood perhaps why I, I do what I do now. The great thing about this kind of thing is the way forward is quite clearly A, mentoring, B, networking. You need people like you, you help people, they help you, and that is the way forward. Once we've worked that out, we'll be all right. At the minute, we're in a kind of transitional stage as far as I can see it. We're working it out, and it's brilliant to be at an event that's doing exactly that at a fancy building as well. Brilliant. My name's Tony Kibetu, I come from the Legali organisation and uh, we challenge the misrepresentation of African people in the media. So we are a community education based uh, organisation but we hear really in our commercial sense that we've produced a film called Beauty Is. And these three images encapsulate that and going into the Google website and typing in the word beauty and what you'll see if you do that now on your phones, on your computers, your tablets is that you'll be bombarded with a sea of images and in these images, you'll find that our form, the African form, is absent from there. And so, really, it was quite clear that if Google is the number one search engine 
in not just the UK, but across the Western world and perhaps the entire world, then what happens when the idea of beauty has been shaped in such a way that we are excluded from that definition? One of the reasons why I felt it was important to come down today was because even though we do community products uh, or projects, our film Beauty Is was actually almost a commercial product. So it had a lot of commercial elements to it, like how we market it, how we produced it, how we saw it to fruition. And many of those lessons actually can be applied to any business in our community and also those that actually have a real charitable aim. And I thought it was a good message to share and it was a great audience.